What's going on guys, PowerGPU here. Today I'm going to kind of do a benchmark for Arkham Knight with the GTX 1080 and slash kind of talk about SLI support with Pascal. Um, I'm no longer going to be doing any SLI videos with the two GTX 1080s that I currently have. Um, the only v games that actually supported SLI pretty well uh, were Crisis, Battlefield 4, um, that's about it. GTA 5 had about a 30% scaling up from a single. Um, and Watch Dogs was just horrendous. I went up only like 10 to 15 FPS, so there's really no SLI support there either. And Arkham Knight literally has zero SLI support, of, of, of course, since they, uh, when they first came out, there was none anyways, and then they never really updated it with SLI support anyways. So, what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video is SLI from NVIDIA. They changed up a lot of this stuff now. They went from having, you know, back in the day, three-way, four-way crossfire, or SLI, whatever, with AMD, and then you have SLI with NVIDIA. NVIDIA really stated, stating that they don't really want to support three- or four-way SLI anymore. Um, they're not even really supporting SLI as much anymore just because a lot of games don't support SLI to begin with now. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of... It looks like, to me, NVIDIA's trying to kind of push the one-card solution thing, which... It's kind of cool, but at the same time, you still need two 1080s to really run at 4K, um, you know, over 60 FPS with a lot of these games. Um, I will show the settings uh, towards the end of this video. Um, I'm really, really running everything at max settings with Gameworks, with anti-aliasing, with 4K. And keep in mind, this is at a stock a GTX 1080. The only thing is I have a fan profile, so that way it stays at its constant boost on GPU, 3, uh, GPU boost 3.0. Um, so I have the fan profile set pretty much when it reaches 70 Celsius, the card goes up to 70% fan speed, um, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70, and so on. Um, so that's the way I set it up, so that way it makes it easier, so that way the temperature, you know, stays at a pretty good balance. Um, and that way it's not too loud, and it doesn't get too hot. Um, so pretty much with SLI support, I've tried a lot of games, and it's just, it's just sad. It's pretty horrendous. At the moment, Pascal... I would not recommend buying two cards. Um, most likely it's going to be the same for the GTX 1070s when I get them in this week. Um, so as of right now, not recommended. If you're going to buy a GTX 1080 or 1070, stick with one for right now um, and then buy a second one later once the support kicks in uh, for drivers and so on. And like I said before, a lot of games that are coming out nowadays don't really support SLI. For instance, Arkham Knight never supported it. So it's like it's kind of like, you know, I'm going to spend fourteen hundred dollars uh on two video cards or you know nine hundred dollars on two video cards but in some games you have to disable sli to me i think that's a waste you know i really feel i feel like i wasted you know four hundred fifty dollars or you know six you know seven hundred dollars another video card for no reason so that's been happening and i'm not i'm not too fond about that one other thing i want to cover to you as well is the whole sli bridge thing with the hybrid, you know, I know, I know, I talked about it in the Watch Dogs video that I had, um, but I feel like at the same time, like they're saying it's really needed uh, to push 4K, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't really trust those. I don't, I can't really trust that because I understand it's 650 megahertz versus 400 versus the old ribbons, um, but I've done my own benchmarks with you know 3D Mark 11 and 3D you know Fire Strike. Uh, at Ultra at 4K and my numbers are higher than some reviewers and around the same as the reviewers and Those reviewers have the new hybrid SLI bridge and they have better processors than I do uh, I mean I have the 3960x at 4.2 they have the 5960x at you know 4.5 you know and at Ultra it makes no difference and you know So again, I'm not sure if it's just with synthetic benchmarking. It's not working properly or you know certain games is not working properly to be honest with you, this year I am not too happy with SLI. Not happy at all. It's it's very it's gotten to the point where now it's gotten confusing for a lot of people. You know, where you have to if you want to do three way SLI or four way SLI, you have to register to get a key from NVIDIA and they don't support they even said it they don't support three three way or four way SLI, so you can't get the hybrid bridge for that. So you have to get the uh, LED bridges that do support the four way SLI that have roughly around the same megahertz frequency for six hundred and fifty. Um so pretty much, I don't know, like I said, I just feel completely out of the loop for SLI right now. Uh, and to be honest with you, I really highly recommend just a one-card solution. 
Uh, Joker Production is doing that. Uh, he even said in his last video he's not going to be getting, he's most likely not going to be getting a GTX 1080 said a second one. Uh, and I, I completely agree with him. I would stick with one for the time being. Uh, hopefully I have one, I have tomorrow, I have one GTX 1070 coming in. Uh, well, I say tomorrow, but it's actually today. It's, it's really late right now, actually. So it's, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's uh, Tuesday already. So today, uh, I'm supposed to be getting a 1070 uh, from EVGA. And then on Thursday, I'm getting an Asus uh, GTX 1070. They both ship from the same company, but for some reason... There's two different shipping trucks, and one's coming in a day later. Or two days later. So, I'll, I'll try to do SLI you know, benchmarks with that. The same ones I did with the 1080. Uh, Battlefield 4 seemed to work pretty well. Uh, so I'll do that again. Um, Crisis 3 worked pretty well, the scaling. So I'll do that one again as well for the 1070. Um, other than that, that's about it for for SLI benchmarks, really. Everything else didn't work well at all. But um, one thing I do hope is AMD, when they come out with their RX 480 and, and so on and so forth, I hope their, SL, their crossfire scaling is better. And hopefully they have driver support right off the bat for crossfire. Because uh, I really, I really, really, truly believe that a lot of people are going to be buying two of those cards to do crossfire right off the bat, since it's only two hundred dollars to two hundred fifty, you know, four gig model, eight gig model. So I really, I really do think they'll be coming out, or a lot of people would be buying two of those cards because of how inexpensive they are uh, to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna really tell, I'm gonna tell my viewers, and and you know, for the new viewers that are coming in as well, um, my recommendation to you right now at this very moment. If you do want to buy a new hey, GPU, uh, it be AMD or NVIDIA, um, even though I love the Pascal series, you know, it's a phenomenal card, you know, 699, great performance, you know, outperforms the Titan X, outperforms the 90 Ti uh, by 20 to 30%. Um, I would recommend buying a used uh, GTX 980 Ti or a GTX 980. And the reason why I say that, that's on the NVIDIA side. Or from AMD, I would recommend getting the AMD R9 390X or the 390. Uh, here in North Carolina, where I live at, I have seen some online for $150. The AMD R9 390, uh, I think there was a try, what was it called? The, um, was it Gigabyte? I think it was. And there was another one, it was through uh, Power Color as well. But they were for $150. An AMD R9 390 and an AMD R9 390X is for about $150 to $200. You can get some crazy power. Uh, my friend up in Massachusetts has a 390, and we've been benchmarking back and forth together. And today we're benchmarking Doom together at the same time. And he was only off by about 30 to 40 FPS off the 1080 that I have from his 390 for the same exact settings. I was really surprised. So, I mean, those cards are still monsters with 8 gigs of VRAM as well. So can you imagine if you pick up two of those for 300 bucks? That's amazing. So, and again, the 980 Ti's, I've seen them sell for three to $350 here as well in North Carolina. So that's my advice. Go out and find a used 980 Ti or used AMD R9 390. I haven't seen any Fury or Fury X's uh, for sale, but I have seen a ton of 390's and 390X's and 980's and 980 Ti's. Even 970s, you can get a 970 now for 200 bucks, you know, or 180 bucks or something like that. But I'll still go over the for the 390 over the 970, anyways, just because of the extra VRAM, you get a little bit more horsepower on the back end. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm so, sorry that I'm talking so much in this video, but I just wanted to kind of let you know, let you guys be informed. Uh, I got a lot more videos to come, got a ton more videos to come, and uh, do me a favor as well. Uh, you know, if you guys enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button share it spread it go to facebook go to reddit go to nvidia reddit you know post it there post it on your facebook page you know just if you guys can it really helps me out uh spread the love and do me a favor as well go ahead and head on over to us talks hardware as well and adore tv they're great guys uh joker productions tech yes city uh my boy demetria hardware conducts you know i, I want to spread the love through youtube the youtube community with all these reviews um it takes a lot of time and dedication uh, to do these videos. You know, it, it might seem like it doesn't, but myself, like I said, I've had two kids. You know, I have a wife as well. You know, she's got a full-time job, so 
These videos take a lot of my time to do, but I love it. It's my passion, and I and I, I want to share this with you guys. And once again, I really do appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far. And that's about it, guys. So I hope to see you guys in the next one, which will be very soon. 1070s, 1080s, and we'll see where we go from there. What kind of benchmarks I do from there. But uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I need to interrogate the driver and find out what he knows. every bone in your body. Okay, okay! Uh, he's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear that's all I know! If you're lying, I'll break the other one. The other one? Ah! Oracle, check the chemical analysis I've just uploaded. Sure. Is this what I think it is? Scarecrow's new toxin. An uncontaminated sample. You're not kidding. I'll prepare a full chemical breakdown on the back computer. What are you going to do? Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. I'm going to pay him a visit. Let's hope this is the break we've been waiting for.